माननीय सभासद माननीय सभापति जी ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स I refer with uh, profound sorrow to the passing away of Shri P. A. Sangma, a member of Lok Sabha and former Speaker of Lok Sabha, on the 4th of March 2016, at the age of 68 years. Born in West Garo Hill District of Meghalaya in September 1947, Shri Sangma was educated at St. Anthony's College, Shillong, and Dibrugar University, Assam. A professor, advocate, and journalist, Shri Sangma was actively associated with several social organizations and educational institutions. He worked tirelessly for the development of northeastern region and the upliftment of the downtrodden and weaker sections of society, especially the tribals, and established night schools for the poor and needy children of his state. Shri Sangma started his legislative career as a member of the Lok Sabha in 1977. He was a member of the 6th, 7th, 8th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 16th Lok Sabha. He held several portfolios in the Union Council of Ministers from 1980 to 1988 and from 1991 to 1996. Shri Sangma was Speaker of the Lok Sabha. From 1996 to 1998, Shri Sangma was a member of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly for two terms, from 1988 to 1991, and again from 2008 to 2012. He served as the Chief Minister of Meghalaya from 1988 to 1990. He also served as leader of opposition in the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly from 1990 to 1991. Shri Sangma served as chairman of the Meghalaya State Planning Board from 2008 to 2012. He represented India on various international fora like UNIDO, ILO, CPA, and IPU conferences. He also had a few publications to his credit. In the passing away of Shri P. S. Sangma, the country has lost a distinguished parliamentarian, an able administrator, and a dedicated social worker. we deeply mourn the passing away of shri p a sangma i request members to rise in their places and observe silence as a mark of respect to the memory of the departed Secretary General will convey to the members of the bereaved family our sense of profound sorrow and deep sympathy. Sir, Honorable, uh, yeah, happy Women's Day. I want to say. We, I'm just, I'm just making a reference. Okay, sir. Yeah. Honorable members, today, March 8, is the International Women's Day, a day to celebrate the untiring commitment and the acts of courage and determination of ordinary women in India. and throughout the world who have played an extraordinary role in shaping the history of their countries and communities and their persistent effort to achieve equality justice and economic development the day reminds us to assess the progress made in the areas of gender equality women's empowerment and rights The UN theme for International Women's Day this year is Planet 5050 by 2030 Step it up for gender equality. This intends to focus on the existing and new commitments for realizing women's rights and for effective implementation of the new sustainable development goals. India has from time immemorial honored, respected and celebrated women and acknowledge their status as equal partners as well as their invaluable 
contribution to societal development. It is, however, unfortunate that over the years, we seem to have misplaced our rich tradition and legacy, as is evident from the increasing and disturbing cases of violence and crime against women and girls in the form of female infanticide, feticide, honor killing, domestic violence, demand for dowry and molestation. It is a bitter truth that various programs, measures and vision documents by governmental and non-governmental agencies have fallen short of achieving the objective of women empowerment. In reality, marginalization of women and discrimination against them is still manifest in the lack of freedom to pursue the career of their own choice, lack of equal social status, financial independence, etc. We cannot afford to ignore the social, political, and economic contribution, enterprise, and innovation of a half of our population. The need of the hour calls for introspection and urges us to change our mindsets, societal practices, and perceptions so that women can realize their true potential in our society, economy, and polity and achieve glory both educationally and professionally. On this occasion, this House joins me in rededicating ourselves collectively towards making the cherished goal of women empowerment with a positive esteem a living reality by assuring them their constitutional rights and thereby ensuring progress and sustainable development of the country and the world. I have to inform members that I have received a letter from Shri Anand Sharma, member representing the state of Rajasthan, resigning his seat in the Rajya Sabha. I have accepted this resignation with effect from the 7th of March, 2016. Papers to be laid on the table. I rise to lay on the table of the House the papers mentioned at serial number one against my name in today's revised list of business. Dr. Mahesh Sharma. Sir, with your permission, I rise to lay on the table of the House the papers mentioned against my name at serial number two in today's revised list of business. Now, Sir, Arun Jaitli. Arun Jaitli. You did? Done it. Okay. Now, Sir, Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi. Sir, on behalf of my colleague, Sir Jan Sina, I rise to lay on the table of the House the paper listed against his name at serial number three in today's revised list of the business of Raj Sabha. Colonel Rajavardhana Singh Dator. Sir, I rise to lay on the table of the House papers mentioned against my name at serial number four of today's revised list of business. Sir Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi, once again. Sir, with your permission, I rise to lay on the table of the House the paper listed against my name at serial number five in today's revised list of the business. Report of the Department of Later Parliamentary Standing Committee on Family Health and Family Welfare, Professor Ram Gopal Yadav. Mahode, I am in the relationship between the Bharati and 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 the Bharati. Thank you.